Hello Taurus, how are you doing? Welcome into your daily reading for the 17th of November, which is the Wednesday. I am going to call in your spirit guides, as I always do, into my spirit room. I'm so honored and grateful to have them here. I'm going to ask them to please give us the messages um, that we need to see. And uh, at the end of the reading, we're going to use a moonology because of the full moon on Friday in Taurus. We're going to ask them to show us what we don't see. Okay, so let's have a look and see for you guys right now. With regards to Wednesday, what is going on around you, spirit guides for Taurus? Can you please um, show us what the challenge is? What is the challenge here? What is going on currently? Is there anything going on or is it all good? <laughs> Let's see. Um, show the world the real you. What's going on? Uh, so many things are coming from this card. Full moon in Aquarius coming up here. And it's full moon on Friday, but in Taurus, not Aquarius. But same kind of vibe. It's time something here. There could be something that you... Um, there's several things coming through. I kind of got this feeling of somebody meeting somebody else here. There's a bit of a love connection somewhere for someone. And you might be interested in getting to know this person more and opening yourself up to that person. We're going to see which energy comes through the most here. But I got this other energy of somebody kind of like hiding or not hiding, holding themselves back and not really showing the world the real them, the real you. Exactly as the card says, it's almost like there's a part of yourself that you hide like it's a secret. It can be so many things. Um, it can be you uh, being a very spiritual person. Uh, for instance, can be a lot of things. You know what all the things this can be. But I got this vibe like somebody could be interested in maybe some kind of like esoteric spirituality as well. And like tarot cards and doing that. And you don't really talk to the people that you know about this because they may not be interested in it or they may be against it or in some kind of way and this energy I feel like whoever you are out there you're more interested in like crystals and learning more about different ways of spirituality even possibly somebody out there feels like they could be a witch as well hello witchy how are you welcome <laughs> um it's called the the calling okay and um it will call you and you're afraid the reaction of people and those around you that love you. So you can't, it's something that you cannot stay away from. It will keep calling you. It's called the calling. It's like when you feel that pull, it's the calling. It's calling you, calling you. It's very hard to resist. And sometimes when you just like totally surrender into it, like I did, you know what I mean? Uh, life becomes pretty amazing. I'm just saying. So let's see what's going on around you here. Night of voices. You so want to be set free. Yeah, this energy here, uh, you got a knight of voices in the reverse position. You've, I feel like for whoever this is, you need to show the world the real you. It's almost like you can't control it anymore. You're afraid, though, if you do show your true colors here, that you may lose people around you. Let's see. Eight of materials. You, what is going on here? This might even be um, going straight into an energy of you even looking into changing your complete life here. With the Eight of Pentacles, you might be thinking of changing even your career. But you've got a moon card, Pisces, this energy coming. This is very much stronger, more than a relationship. I feel like it's got to do with you personally. Um, you're so in your head. You've got two swords right down here. Queen of Swords here. You do think about this a lot. A lot. And you kind of feel like, you know, I... I can see, I feel this energy of you feeling you're somebody else inside of you. I don't know who I'm talking to here, but I feel like there's somebody inside of you that feels like the real you. And when you're alone, you can sometimes express that person. But when you come out to other people, you hide it away with the moon card being in the reverse position. Um... You may be worried about what people at work might say. Um, you may be worried about um, what your family might say. Uh, but there could even be like a field of study that you're interested in doing. Like you might be going, you know, I'm interested in going to study um, tarot cards, for instance. And you're concerned about what other people will think about it. This is so interesting. Hmm. The moon card being there, it also indicates, you know, your dreams as well, because it's talking about the moon. It talks about the things that you keep secret. It talks about like the energy of spirituality as well coming through. It's very strong. There's some kind of something with regards to you. I keep bumping this camera. There is something here with regards to you needing to reveal yourself to the world. Not for the world, for you. 
not to get a reaction out of people because you need to be authentically 100% yourself. And um, I don't know how much longer you will be able to stop being you. Remember, when you open up yourself to who you really are, this is when you actually start to meet the people who are meant to be around you. Because sometimes we're hiding ourselves so much that the people who would actually be attracted to us or want to be around us, it, they miss us because they feel this energy of you not being your truly self. And when you really open up yourself, if people cannot accept you for being who you are, then they're really not your friends anyway. And there will be people that come in and look at you and go, hey, the vibe attracts your tribe kind of energy. So let's have a look and see what they say. It's time to think about this in a much deeper level. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Do you see how we've got this energy of full moon here? Something is coming to a head. You haven't got the moon there. And then you've got this new moon, this rebirth energy here of a new cycle that's starting. Where I think you are literally going to start to show more of yourself to the world. You know, the Fridays... Um, a full moon it's in Taurus and it's about self-worth it's about your self-worth as a human being and how do you feel about yourself do you feel confident about yourself do you feel genuine you know what I mean and this is coming through very strongly in your reading I honestly feel you got some kind of calling there's an energy that's calling you um, and you literally feel there's another life out there or another way that you want to live. Maybe you want to change your jobs as well, you know. Um, you feel like the job that you have is just not for you because we do have the eight of materials being there. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, just because we in this lifetime, we can change in, as many times as we like. Because why not? <laughs> why not? You don't have to be put into a box and remain in that box for the rest of your life. You can literally rip it to shreds and be whoever you want to be. And you can recreate yourself over and over again if you want to because this life is meant for living it is meant to live the adventure and if you feel like you want to you see yourself as being something else you're already that person you just have to step into it there we go thank you so much Doris I love you see is that energy thank you so much for coming in here it's the full moon affecting you definitely I'm going to wish you all the best for the rest of your day and I hope you will comment below and I can answer somebody's question. Thank you for coming in. Bye.